Hey all you good people of the YTPC, it's Harriet Herfer, and I am coming at you with a ga um uh, a VR to Hector Quick Wiper. God. It's gonna be another one of those guys. So anyway, the heck with it. I'm just gonna keep going with it. If I stop every time I make a mistake, I'll never get a video up, so a video up. Any heard of what a it's going to be one of those. So Hector's having a celebratory 500 sub ga, and this is the VR to it. See, I got it out that time. Today I am smoking what is, I would say, one of my most flawed pipes. And it is my dad's. It is. I don't remember. I mean, I know what brand it is. It's a K. Woody, oh yeah, Super Grain. And I refurbed it, kind of. I didn't want to. I didn't want to totally refurb it. I wanted it to kind of be like he had it, except I did. I did. Um, it hasn't been smoked in years, so I sanitized it. I reamed it and I sanitized it, and I did do um, actually quite a bit of work on the stem. It uh, it was in sad shape. It was very oxidized and um, it took a lot of work to get it to where it is now. So I'll just show it better to you guys. Yeah, see it's it's not perfect, trust me. But it's better than it was, but it's still kind of like my dad had it, so. And it went out. Imagine that. So, I'll tell you what I'm smoking here in a second. So my dad, screw you lighters, huh, got me a match today. Where yet? Yeah. Here we go. So my dad was an OTC kind of smoker. So, and he also, I can remember um, when he would let me go down and, and um, smell the tobaccos and the pouches and the tins that he had. And when I say tens, I mean the, you know, not the 12 ounce tens he always had down there. Um, I can remember them being cherry. So I pulled out a cherry uh, OTC Prince Albert cherry vanilla. So it would be my dad approved tobacco. It's something this pipe is most likely had in it in the past. So I thought that was kind of appropriate. So Hector. This is definitely one of my most flawed pipes um, and I'll show you why. That was my last match so I don't want to pick up a, a lighter. I have to keep this going. So it does still have, where is it? On which side is it? Probably can't see it. Uh, maybe you can. A big old tooth mark of my dad's that's still in there right here at the top right there so that's there um, I don't know if I'm, you're gonna be able to see the uh, boo-boos right in here I would imagine that and it's actually very deep and I left the rim kind of like he had it too it's a little bit uh, actually there's kind of like almost like cake on the top but it's where he's charted it oh man that, that's a bummer. Oh, I'm using a tamper that um, I got from Tamper Tantrum that he handmade, which um, I'm really enjoying using. It's kind of like a worry stick in a way and a tamper. It's got a dual purpose. And um, I really like it. I like the fact that it uh, it's handmade. And um, I, I don't know, I like the look of that grain on that tamper. Isn't it beautiful? Did a fine job on that, sir. And um, we met him and his wife and one of his friends uh, this last Saturday. And we really enjoyed meeting them. They're really, really nice folk. So, and I'm out of the matches. So, here we go. But, the thing of it is with this little K. Woody, <laughs> it's not doing it right now. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to tell. I don't want to leave it out too long. But it has a stinger in it. And... 
probably can't tell, but the stinger has a split at the end. It is definitely broken. So there are many times when this pipe whistles when I smoke it. You know, I've heard of people just cutting the stinger off and just, you know, disposing of it, not using it at all. Um, I imagine I could try and have that repaired or have a new one put in, but this is the way my dad smoked this pipe. So that is the way I smoked this pipe. Like I said, I just reamed it and cleaned it pretty much. And there's a lot of work on the stem, but. I didn't want to change it up. I imagine this pipe went, uh, can uh, not, well, probably camping as well. Camping and definitely hunting with him. So he would go out for the day and hunt. And um, I know you don't, you don't smoke while you hunt or you give away your location to the animals. But when you're hunting all day, you do stop for, stop for a, a pipe, I would imagine. So, And he had a hunting dog that he would go out and train. And so I know when he was training her, he probably had a pipe with her, with him. So, even though, Hector, this is my most flawed pipe, it is one of my most coveted pipe. Um, it means a lot to me. I know my dad smoked this pipe a lot. There was a ton of char, um, of um, cake in it. And I remember this pipe when I was growing up. So I know he smoked it a lot. It's one of his older pipes too, so. He has a couple others that are, I guess, cooler looking than this. But none that are as um, special to me as this one, I think, because he smoked it so much. So, darn it. But um, that is that is uh, my most flawed and my most loved pipe, I think. So, there you go, Hector. There it is. Kind of glad, um, glad I pulled this out to smoke it again. I haven't smoked it in a couple of months, so, yeah. So I'm glad, uh, I'm glad uh, for the opportunity to get it out and smoke it and show it off again. So there it is, you flawed pipe, you. <laughs> so congratulations, Hector, on your 500 subs. That's awesome milestone. I'm going to put Hector's information in the bucket uh, so you can check his channel out. He has a good channel, and he has a really generous giveaway going on right now. So. If, um, if you're interested in doing a GA, or he also accepts comments from non-presenters, so um, anybody can enter. You just have to be a subscriber, so go ahead and go over there and click subscribe and hop in on the GA. You all take care. Go sub a newbie. Get out one of your flawed pipes and smoke it. Uh, I'll catch you later. She's smoking taters.